Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to uh, talk about one very good problem which is talking about pattern matching or you can see uh, sentence matching. Okay, so problem is like this. We have some random text. Okay, hello world my name is Tarun and looking for a job and there is a notes word. Okay, this is another set of uh, words we have. What we need to do is we need to find out that this, this description in the notes is having these words in it or not like this can be a random words looking my name blah blah okay what we need to find out all these words word 1 word 2 and word 3 is available in this notes or not it's not like okay if it is not available looking my uh, TK Sharma then it should give us false because TK Sharma string is not available a word not available in this description okay uh, okay so how we, we should proceed further on this so we already talked about a lot of options right what we generally do is we always split the string based on the spaces convert that into an array then start doing the iterations and for these kind of cases uh, if we talk, talk about pseudocode what we can do is we can actually get the count of all the words in the notes string okay notes will give us an object okay what that object will contain is all the occurrences of individual word hello is occurring once okay we got the we got from this object okay this particular string is available in the the notes object world is also occurring for the one, one time so similarly we will count for all the other words right similarly in the notes words whatever we are looking for we will just split this we will convert it into uh, an array and we already know that we are looking for these two words or two array index values in the parent index parent array okay now let's try to do this const uh, check random notes okay this is my function and here I'm passing two argument which is the note I'm looking inside it and this is the magazine keyword okay I'm inside I'm looking for this random notes inside a magazine description okay this is an arrow function now what we will do is we will just uh, split the magazine words I mean we will create an array and how we can do it uh, simply magazine dot split based on a space all right so we'll get a array of all the words and here we will get a magazine map or you can say a hash let's say magazine map i got okay this magazine map is empty object and i will just run on iterate on this magazine words and we'll try to see how many words are there what is the count of each and every word for each it's a callback we will get each and every word from the magazine word and here we will check if magazine map is already having this i mean if if, if that is not having this this particular word which we are talking then what we need to do is we just add it in the map object okay so magazine map of that word will increase with plus plus okay so this will be assigned with zero initially okay if it is already there i mean we already have a count then we will just increase it by one so because there can be a repetition of words in that notes or magazine string right let's uh, rename it to the magazine okay now we got all the occurrences so this object what i'm talking about map will have all the words and their their occurrences the count of all their occurrences now what we will do is uh, here we will also check notes words we will just split notes notes dot split okay and and here we can have a boolean which will be initially will be false initially let's say true okay and we just need to return if all these random notes 
these notes are available in this magazine description or not okay so what we will do is uh, we will just iterate on to the notes words dot for each we will get each and every word okay this is the word which is existing inside the notes words now we just need to find it out is this exist in this uh, magazine map or not okay so here we will just do some run some condition if magazine map is having that word okay and what we will do is magazine map of that word is minus minus why we are doing it because we might be looking for something which we are looking for multiple times right and here also so we are making sure if you are looking for some particular word like I'm looking for this particular text three times in the notes then three times this particular word should be available in my description okay to make sure that so if word is there just decrease this count and finally we have to check in each and every iteration that magazine map of for that word count should always be greater than zero otherwise uh, this boolean will be false because we didn't find a match zero means what it is saying is here we have we are counting text three times but this text is available only two times that means we didn't find a perfect match and we have to return false right so for every count we keep decreasing it but it should not be less than zero if it is going there then return the false otherwise what we need to do is else uh, so if that is there if this condition is also not possible then boolean equal to false okay if all this is done then we have to return boolean and putting a variable name boolean is not a good thing but i did it so it's, you can see a flag or something so here we put are putting the flag false here we just need to check the condition if this map of the word is less than zero then we are putting a uh, false if magazine word okay this is a false of this okay if this is true then what we are doing is if magazine map of word then we are doing it minus and then we are returning it okay else if we didn't find a match we are putting flag false okay now let's check this if maximum uh, the map we have if the word is not even available right that means we will directly put the flag false if that word is available then first we will decrease the counter and then we will check the counter if the counter has not become negative right if it is negative then also its flag is false and we are returning flag okay so this code is very simple I think now it is clear why this condition is like this okay so this will return you just put a random text what it will check is it will also check the number of occurrences of a word same number of occurrences is available or not I mean it can be more than the, the occurrences we are looking for but minimum the text should be there in this description for three times okay if it is more than that that is fine but if it is there for two times only then it is false for us right because this condition will be negative and we will be returning flag as false okay so that's it in the next video we'll talk more about let's let's see fibonacci series and memorizing the the fibonacci output for a particular input